We just got an offer for a gig. It should cover the rent and more. It looks pretty good. I hope so. Things have been pretty quiet lately. I have been working on getting us more sets. Maybe it is one of my calls. Things are just a little slow. We have seen this before. Keep your chins up. Uncle Josiah died. I hardly have heard of him. Girls and uncle of mine just died. The lawyer wants me to discuss the will. I will be gone for maybe a half day. He probably left me a hundred dollars. Sorry to hear about your loss, Patsy. Is there anything we can do? Thanks. I barely even heard of him. It is just a formality. I'll be back shortly. Are you Patsy? Go on up. The lawyer is waiting for you. Sit down, Patsy. Relax. Your uncle left you an inheritance. It's in an area called Frightville. What a weird name. What did he leave me? You inherited a farm and a country dancing school for girls there, along with a substantial amount of cash. You will be well off. You and the Dixie Bells need to go take possession of the school. This is a group inheritance. I don't understand. I never heard that he had money. He quietly made a fortune in the country music industry. Congratulations. You and the Dixie Bells are rich. So what is the plan here? This looks like a pretty big place. As executor of the estate, I need to talk with management. All of you can look around and I will join you shortly after I get done with the paperwork. Start with the house where we will be staying.
This is livable. Two to a bedroom. I want to meet the girls. We will look around and see if we can find some of the girls. Hi, I am the new owner, the executor of the estate. Okay, I will notify the administrator and head teacher. Laura, we have the executor from the Dixie Bells here. Okay, thanks. I will have June take the new students to the boarding house. June, can you please take the three girls you will find in the orientation room to the boarding house? Thanks. Girls, my name is June. I am going to take you to the boarding house and we will look at some things along the way. Hi, I am the estate executor. I am from the Dixie Bells. I am Laura, and this is Mr. Hengist and Cindy. I am glad to meet you. We have some papers to sign. Per agreement the Dixie Bells will be moving into the house. I heard that some band called the Dixie Bells inherited this school. That's an odd name for a band, but it fits us and country dancing. I can't wait to meet them if it is true. Why don't we go up into our room and get changed into our dancing dresses for practice? Look here comes someone. Maybe it is one of them. Hi girls, I am Lacey from the Dixie Bells. Would you mind if I sit down? We heard about you. We were just about to head up to our room to put on our dancing dresses. Come up and join us if you like. We are the new owners. One of our members inherited the school. How do you like it? It's fun. We still learn everything we should in school and we learn country dancing. Would you girls like to put on a quick demonstration for Lacey? Sure. I am okay with that. The stage is outside, Lacey. Give us a little while to get changed. So what do you think so far? I am really excited. It seems like quite a proposition, 
but I think we can handle it. We are going to love this place, I am sure. Aren't you going over to the farm today? To interview the family that will be leasing it? Yes I am. They seemed like a really good family on the phone at least. <laughs> Hi you must be Patsy. We talked on the phone. This is my wife Jessie and daughter Lisa. Gramps is in the barn straightening that around, and daughter Jane and son Jerry are around somewhere. Glad to meet you. I just have the paperwork to sign. Under the terms of the lease, we reserve the right to perform here once a month. Everything seems in order. We are glad you could come by today. Settling in always takes a while but we are getting there. Go send your brother Jerry in. Tell him I have a surprise for him. We've already eaten Jerry. Gramps is headed out for a bite later. The cops are looking for this girl. She is all yours. Mind if we watch?
You know we need to try to get rid of the Dixie Bells. Lay off my girls, but maybe you can come up with someone. One of them should see it. I will take a look at the applicant list. There should be one or two that are expendable. Make sure that one of the Dixie Bells sees it. That should scare them off. I will bring through one of my pet ghouls. Do it after the secretaries go home so they don't see anything. Hi Jill is it? I was wondering if you would mind helping me out. I have an applicant here who needs someone to stay with her for a while. I will try to be quick. Okay I'm not doing much right now. I'll come over. I will be back in a little while. Thanks Jill. Oh and Christy this is Jill. So Christy tell me a bit about yourself. Well I left a parochial school that closed down. Then I saw an ad for this school and I wanted to learn how to dance. What if I told you that I am a member of a band and we inherited this school? That sounds exciting. Mind if I take off my jacket? It's hot in here. Go ahead. There are no boys here. I will loosen up a little too. There are two in the office. Kill the teenager, but don't kill the other. Make sure that the woman sees what you are doing. What if she interferes? She is likely to object. Then rough her up some. She will run off.
How do you all feel about the dance exhibition tomorrow? I am all excited. We have been practicing for so long. Bring it on. I am a little scared but ready. Just be yourselves and you'll be fine. I am going outside for a little. I think it killed the girl. I tried to stop it but it hit me and it was strong. What did the thing look like? It had a row of spikes across its back, claws, teeth. It was not an animal as we know them. I don't know where else to go. I saw something earlier and I needed to talk about it. Come in. What's your name? I am Lacey. I am June. I was out practicing for the dance competition. There was a horrible thing, just a thing, that I saw. It had claws and spikes along its back. It roared at me then left. About three in the afternoon. Would you come with us? Jill and I to the police? You would be helpful. Yes I will. I am scared. I want to tell someone. I am Detective Sammons. Now you say there has been a murder? Yes I saw it at our Frightville Country Dance School. Do you know the identity of the victim? I was told by the head teacher Laura that her name was Christy. That's all I know. Can you describe the killer? Method of killing? It was a horrible thing. It had sharp teeth and claws, and had spikes on its back. 
Was it an animal? I don't know of any animals around here like that. Mr. I saw it too. It was exactly like it was described by Jill. It was an ugly nasty thing. How often do you Dixie Bells go out to bars? How much do you drink? How dare you say that? June here told you that she saw the same thing. You cannot give alcohol to a minor. Did you get her drunk? You are mean and not a good cop. No one gave me alcohol. If you really want to see mean that can be arranged. How did everything go at the farm, Patsy? Everything went well. They are such a nice couple with good kids. I am glad they are on the farm. We have some disturbing news for you. We'll fill you in. Then there is a dance exposition later we need to attend. Before that we were going to the library to look up some information. Okay, lay it on me. Then we will head up there. It's funny. I could not seem to find a way out of the area. I will try again later. Patsy, I found some information about Frightville. It is only legend. It says that a powerful witch resides here and that she sacrifices young teenage girls occasionally to stay young. That's horrible. I hope there is no truth to that. 
There may be truth to it based on what Jill saw. What else? It said that she can only be destroyed by burning her life. Well we won't be doing that. I'll thank the librarian and then we will get ready for the dance exposition. I have gotten a note. It says this, if you want to learn more about your situation, meet me at my house at this address. Bring no others. Your friendly librarian. Do you think you should go? It might be some kind of trap. I have to. I wanted to thank her but she left before I could. I am curious now. Come on in Patsy. Relax and sit down. I am a friend. I promise. Who are you? I never got to talk to you in the library because you left early. You may call me Gina. Centuries ago in the Middle Ages, Laura as you know her was a young witch. She openly feuded with her sister who was a Christian. The townspeople in the London suburb couldn't tell who was the witch as charges flew back and forth. Centuries ago? How can that be? She made a pact with evil forces to live forever. A witchfinder had to choose between she and her sister. It was her sister who got burned at the stake. You must do the same to Laura, burn her at the stake or at least set her on fire. It is the only way to destroy her. We can't do that, burn a woman alive. We are a band, not witchfinders. This is today. You must. I can see you need a demonstration. This is my true appearance. I came to your realm from what is called the nether regions. They are different than your earth. All sorts of beings exist there. Laura opened a portal and did not know what she was doing at that time. I came through and never went back. You look like a movie character. A demon? Come on. Why would you stay here? It was not long before I took in a young runaway. I soon made it my mission to help teenage girls on this earth. I could no longer terrorize mortals. It just was not in me any longer. Laura continued to gain power, selectively sacrificing girls. Is Hengist involved in all this? Yes he is. Ten years ago Laura found him in a cancer ward, dying. She rejuvenated him. He is now under her power. What is your stake in all this? Laura will soon be able to keep the portal between worlds open. Hell on earth will be loosed. Just so you will see why I care, I will bring down two of my young charges. Minnie, Jesse come down here. This is why. I have been helping these girls and others. I don't want terror to be their fate. How did it go my love? Did you convince her that you are on her side? I think so. These Dixie Bells appear to be strong-willed but naive. Does Laura suspect anything? I see no evidence of that. Once Laura opens the gate for good, we can trick the Dixie Bells into burning her. 
then you and I will rule this earth as all the wicked creatures flood into it. I can't wait my love. Why don't you burn her yourself? Our agreement robs me of my will so I can't harm her directly. I still want to rule by your side my love. My will about that has not changed. What has she released so far? A ghoul, a vampire, or two and some other nasty creatures. There are other vampires in town. I think they are on the farm leased out by the Dixie Bells. Like I said the Dixie Bells are naive. What are you doing? The dance exhibition is in a few hours. You should be getting ready. I am sorry. I was not feeling well. Can you call the school and tell them I won't be going? Okay I will. Get some rest. Who are you? I get the feeling that you are from the nether realm. I am. I came through the portal a few days ago. What do I call you? Just call me Gramps. Everyone does. There are two sisters in there. One for you, one for me. I've got the older one, you take the younger one.
Hi girls, I am Alisa, your student teacher for today. I wanted to go over a few things about dance and then I will have you do a little practice on the stage. Country dance calls for coordination, repetition of steps and more. Of course it requires good music as well. Do any of you have any concerns before we get started? Will we put on our dancing dresses to do this? I heard that we do. Yes you will. We feel that you should practice in your dancing dresses so that you will be used to them. Do we do anything other than country dancing, like some Irish folk dancing? Absolutely. American country dance was largely inspired by Scotch-Irish music and culture. They brought their instruments and culture along with them. You don't seem to be much older than us. Just how old are you? I am 20. I am doing some extra credit work from a local college. Most of you are 15 and 16 and so you are a little younger than I. Do you have a good song for us to practice to? I am all ready to go except for the dress. Yes I do. You will love it, I promise.
Well Patsy would you like to come with me? You don't have a choice actually. What's this all about Laura? I am going nowhere. Come in my pet. Show her we mean business. Laura you are fired. Please leave the grounds now. Impudent wench. You have no idea what you are up against. You do deserve an explanation before we burn you at the stake. I have been on this planet for centuries, since the Middle Ages. I learned early to use the power of the nether regions. So far all you have shown me is your pet monkey and the fact that Hengist is in on this. Okay here you go. I will show you something. Am I supposed to be impressed by this? There was another, a librarian who did the same thing. Both of you are fired. Let me burn her. She is angering me. In a little hengist. I am going to open the gate. I also want to show the others as the flames sear her body. Laura, so are you now taking to burning women in the stake? Is that how you sacrifice them? Well look what the cat dragged in. How nice it is to see you. What's your latest scam? I would change and use my powers but I would rather get my hands on you. My love, are you ready? Just let me get in my licks first. Mr. Hengist you are slumming. I never thought that even you deal with scum like her. Will someone please tell me what is going on? Human this is a feud that has lasted through the centuries. Gina at one time was my sister. They burned her at the stake, but she had invited a demon inside her body. She had been a Christian, but invited the demon in her body to protect herself from the flames. I was the witch, not she. Our feud was originally religious but it is personal now. I was the witch finder who ordered her sister to be burned. In gratitude, if you can call it that, Laura granted me eternal life. If you can call it that? What do you mean? Most people would be eternally grateful. It is a trap. You don't dare make friends when you know that they will age and die and you will stay the same. You witness wars, epidemics, and disasters of all different types again and again. I tried to get away, as the eternal life needs to be renewed occasionally but Laura found me, dying in a cancer ward and restored me. It was no accident that she found me. I have Hengist. Send in the team. Gina, what are you doing? Calling in some kind of hit squad? Do you have something you want to tell me too? Patsy I am Detective Gina Del Rey, Frightville Police Department. It seems Mr. Hengist has been building quite a nest egg for himself. We were tipped off months ago by a teacher. Mr. Dave Hengist, I place you under arrest. I still don't understand. If Hengist is immortal, then why would he do this? Patsy immortality does not prevent someone from breaking the law. In fact, it encourages it, if you are not facing a life sentence that is. Until next time Gina. I am sure we'll meet again. Cut Patsy down from that thing. Place Mr. Hengist under arrest. 
you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be. What? Sammons is on administrative leave while his actions are being evaluated. He will probably get a reprimand. Unfortunately our prime suspect turned into a skeleton before we could arrest him. Tell me, how is it that someone like you needs to work? An eternity of doing nothing would be really boring. Keeping busy is the key. We too like recreation though, those of us that are in this world. There are more than you know. If you want some recreation, why not come to our dance exhibition? We have girls getting ready now. The Dixie Bells will be leading off, then the dancing. I would be delighted. Thank you for inviting me. It will give me time to think and figure out what to put into my report about Hengist. I suggest maybe just saying that he died of natural causes. Case closed. Welcome to today's dance competition. Opening the show will be the Dixie Bills, and then we will have dancers from both country and Irish folk backgrounds. Everybody put your hands together for the Dixie Bills.